We think there's a great frustration, right? The American people are frustrated, as are so many Republicans in Congress, because we know we need to secure our southern border, that we need to take care of our home first. Uh, and we're not getting that type of cooperation from Schumer, from the Senate, or even from McConnell in some points. Uh, we've been pushing hard to pass uh, our Border Security Act out of the Senate. It passed the House in May, and it would go back to the previous policies of the Trump administration that were working, that had secured our border, that were stemming the flow, this unsustainable flow that we're seeing of migrants, of fentanyl, killing and poisoning our young people in America. And yet we cannot get Senator Schumer to even bring it to the floor for a vote. And I feel very confidently that if he just brought it to the floor for a vote, actually let democracy take place, that you would see that bill pass the Senate and we could send it to the president's desk. Mm -hmm. John Burnett, I'll bring you in here. I, I, this seems going to seem like a simple follow-up to what uh, the congresswoman just said. Why? Why won't Schumer bring it to the floor? Why won't they act on this? Because bringing it to the floor and having it pass means that everything that they've been saying for the last several years was all wrong. The thing is, is that Bingo. people, the everyday working class citizen who votes, who pays taxes, who are feeling the brunt of the inflation, and feeling the, 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 the budgetary crunch. We're already here in New York City, they're making trade-offs, saying that we, we'll, we'll have to close libraries, we'll have to sacrifice security at a time when crime is spiking up by, by hiring less police officers. People are putting, putting common sense ahead of politics. Whether you're on the right, left, center, or politically agnostic, they see that the American uh, leadership starting with President Biden, they're not keeping Americans safe and looking out for our economic interests. Congressman, why do Democrats, or most of them anyway, seem unable to admit that we have a terrible border crisis? And why don't they seem to want it to stop? Well, you're right, because they created this crisis. It was President Biden's policies, his executive orders on day one that unraveled the policies of President Trump. The remain in Mexico, the, you know, restarting the catch and release, ending Title 42. Remember, he went so far as to go to court to fight Title 42. He went to court to actually fight Texas when Texas said, well, if you're not going to secure our borders, we're going to put up our own barriers. Uh, this is what President Biden has done, and the Senate Democrats and the Democrats locally have just incentivized more illegal immigration. The reason we have this crisis in New York City right now is because our mayor and our governor continue to offer free incentives, housing, education, free attorney services, uh, and, and, and they are incentivizing this problem, and they're not working with us to resolve it. Why? Yeah. The question is why? Yes. Well, yeah, look, exactly. it's hard to say, but what <laughs> I will, what I will tell votes? you is that de Blasio did pass a law on his way out the door that Adams could have vetoed but chose not to that would allow non-citizens to vote in municipal elections. Now, if you are residing mm. in New York City for 30 days, uh, you can register mm. to vote even if you're a non-citizen, which means those individuals who are in the migrant shelters would be able to vote. If it were not for me and my colleagues that actually sued to stop that law, we were successful in stopping it temporarily, but guess what? Adams has appealed it, and we're still in court. So that's a fight that continues. Yeah, what a mess here. I want to get to this real quick. You recently introduced a bill, we know, to prevent migrant housing on federal lands. It passed your bill would prohibit federal funding from being used to provide housing for illegal immigrants on any land under the jurisdiction of the federal land management agencies. Talk about that and why, why you think this was important here. Well, it's important because Governor Kathy Hochul requested it. She is using Floyd Bennett Field. She even went so far as to say she wanted to use military installations. So I have a, a bill that would address that as well. This particular bill would prohibit federal lands from being used, and it would cancel the lease at Floyd Bennett Field in Brooklyn. Uh, we expect that to come for a vote in the House next week, which I'm excited about. Uh, and we hope, again, that Schumer actually does his job, allows uh, a bill to come to the floor and his representatives to vote on that, as opposed to just trying to hide it and not allowing it to come up for debate and discussion in the Senate.